जय हिंद चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम इन योर मैथ्स लाइफ क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल फर्दर कम्प्लीट फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज सेवन ए क्वेश्चन आर फ्रॉम इलेवन टू एटीन ओके सो लेट्स राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन फर्स्ट फॉर दैट लेट सी वॉट इज दैट क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज थर्टीन इन अ ब्रैकेट वाई माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री y माइनस नाइन देन माइनस फाइव वाई माइनस वाई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू राइट डाउन दिस ऑन द बोर्ड ऑल ऑफ यू जस्ट राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन इज थर्टीन y माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस नाइन एंड देन माइनस फाइव वाई प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके इट इज द इक्वेशन सो आई होप यू ऑल हैव रिटर्न फ्रॉम द बुक और फ्रॉम माई पी डी एफ फाइल ओके और यू कैन सी आई हैव ऑल्सो रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड जस्ट मैच इट चिल्ड्रेन एंड देन स्टार्ट इट हाउ वी विल स्टार्ट लेट सी देर आर फ्यू ब्रैकेट्स वी विल सिंप्लीफाई द ब्रैकेट फर्स्ट वी विल सिंप्लीफाई द ब्रैकेट फर्स्ट नाउ लेट सिंप्लीफाई इट नाउ थर्टीन इंटू वाई एंड थर्टीन इंटू माइनस फोर so let's see how we will solve this first we will multiply 13 with y and then we will multiply 13 with 4 along with its bracket 13 into y now 13 into minus 4 so plus minus this is plus plus that's why plus has come This is plus minus minus will appear. Thirteen fours are thirteen fours are children fifty two. Thirteen fours are fifty two. Now again minus plus minus. First put the sign. If you are opening the bracket, first put the sign. Minus plus minus. Now multiply the number three and no number means one. Three ones are three. and now write down the variable y now again see the sign sign is minus minus will become plus if you are multiplying same sign plus will come minus minus will become plus 9 threes are 27 okay we have opened two bracket till now then again first see the sign minus plus Minus plus different sign children minus will come minus plus minus five vanja five y then again see the sign different sign children different sign minus will come minus plus minus five four za twenty is equal to zero is equal to zero okay. so what we have done we have solved the bracket we have solved the bracket one by one just multiply the number which is outside the bracket with the numbers which is inside the bracket and then after this what we will do we will separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side we will transpose it to other side so this is the variable term containing variable this is also a variable term it also contain variable y then next one is minus 5 this is also a variable term so these three terms we will keep it on left hand side and the rest we will shift it to other side and while shifting it while transposing it to other side the sign will change whatever its sign is its sign will change okay so now let's write down 13y minus 3y minus 5y keep all the variable terms on one side 
then equal to now minus 52 when shift to that side it will become plus 52 plus 52 my plus 27 when it will shift it to that side it will become minus 27 and minus 20 when it will be transposed to that side it will become plus 20 so each sign will get changed see minus will become plus here plus 27 is now minus 27 and minus 20 is now plus 20 now after that we will solve this we will solve the left hand side and right hand side first so children 13 minus 3 either you can solve in this way first solve this and then whatever answer will come solve with 5y or you can solve it first and then subtract it from 13y it's your choice children so 13 minus 3 is 13 minus 3 is 10 10 minus 5 is 5y is equal to now i am solving this two first i am solving this two first children it will be easier for me minus 27 and plus 20 how much is left minus 7 will be left how much minus 7 why minus 7 signs are different we will subtract and sign of bigger number after subtraction 7 will come and sign of bigger number okay just ignore this see which is the bigger number 27 is the bigger number so its sign will come now is equal to 52 minus 7 now when you will subtract 52 minus 7 what will be the answer 45 okay so 5y is equal to 45 now you know y is there with the uh, 5 is there with y so we have to transpose this 5 to rhs it is in multiplication when it will shift it to other side transpose to rhs the multiplication will change into division so y is equal to y is equal to 45 by 5 and when you will simplify this 5 ones are 5 and 5 nines are 45 so what is the answer of y the answer of y is y is 9 so in this way you can write the answer okay y is equal to 9 just write down here i am not writing because the board will not be visible to you so i have written my answer here after this step you will write y is equal to 9 answer is y is equal to 9 okay now let's see the other question if you will if you wanted to see the question just see it first okay see solve it and then move ahead now after this question number next question is question number 13 question number 13 is in the same way let's write down the question, question number 13 you are right just write down it and i am just solving it children write down question number 13 as soon as possible i am erasing the board in meanwhile and you people are writing your questions okay which question you are writing question number 13 children and see it carefully you have to write down the exact number with the same variable with the same sign if you will not follow then it may be that you will have some problem later on now question number 13 6 into let's see i am writing on the board okay 6 into 3x plus 2 3x plus 2 minus 5 minus 5 6x minus 1 6x minus 1 then it is equal to it is equal to 3 x minus 8 minus 5 7 x minus 6 plus 9 x is the question this is the question ok let me have the look of question yes this is the question 
Now, question number 13 is this. Please match it. After writing, you have to match it. 6 into 3x plus 2 minus 5 into 6x minus 7 minus 1, sorry, is equal to 3 into x minus 8, then minus 5, 7x minus 6, its minus is not visible maybe, so I am writing it properly, 7x minus 6 and then plus 9x. So what we will do? It's same as question number 11. We will solve the individual bracket one by one. First we will multiply 6 with 6 with 3x and then 6 will be multiplied with 2. In the same way 5 will multiply with 6x and 5 will multiply with 1 and we will open the bracket. After opening the bracket we will separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side. Clear? So let's see. Plus, plus, plus will come. 6, 3 is 18. X. Plus, plus, plus will come. Same sign. So, plus will come. 6, 2 is 12. First bracket open. Now, minus, plus, minus. Signs are different. So, minus will come. Minus, plus, minus. 5, 6 is 30. X. Minus, minus will become plus. Same sign children. Same sign. Plus has come. Same sign. Plus has come. 5 ones are 5. So we have opened the le left hand side part. Now move to RHS. Is equal to 3 into x. 3x. Plus, minus, minus. 8 three are 24 then minus plus minus 5 7 is 35 x minus minus will become plus minus minus will become plus 5 6 is 30 and plus 9x is also left so plus 9x this is my question i have solved it i have opened the bracket one by one Open the bracket. 6 will multiply with these two. Open it. Same way 5 will multiply with these two along with the sign children. Now separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side. Or before that you can solve it also. You can solve it children. How? Let me see. 18x minus 30x. Both were having x. So we can solve it. Yes. They are like terms. We can solve them having x, x. Now, 18x minus 30x. One is positive, one is negative. We will subtract. We will subtract 18 from 30. What will be left? Children, come on. 12. 12x will be left. And sign of bigger number. Which one is bigger? Just leave it. Which one is bigger? 18 or 30? 30 is bigger. And what is its sign? Minus. So, minus 12x. Clear? Now solve 12 and 15. Solve 12 and 15. Okay. Plus 12, uh, not 15, 5 children. It is 5. So 12 plus 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. I have solved it. Now equal to, see, 3x minus 35x plus 9x. These all are containing x as a variable so we can simplify them 3 plus 9 both are positive 3 plus 9 will be 12 and when you will subtract 12 from 35 why we will subtract children because it is negative just write down 3 plus 9 x is 12 x minus 35 x and then 24 and 30 minus 24 and plus 30. This is the question. Okay. Now, so simplify. I have I have added 3 and 9. That's why my 12x has come here. So, 12 minus 35. One is positive, one is negative. What we will do? We will subtract. We will subtract 12 from 35. What will come children? Come on. Do it fast. 
So subtract it. You will have three. Five minus two is three, and three minus one is two. Twenty-three x with negative sign. With negative sign, children. And when you will solve these two, minus twenty-four plus thirty. Again, subtraction will take place. Thirty minus twenty-four will be the solution. That is six. And sign of bigger number. Thirty is bigger, and its sign is positive. So plus six. Am I clear? Twelve minus thirty-five. One is positive. One is negative. Always you will subtract. From thirty-five to twelve, answer will be twenty-three. But minus twenty-three because thirty-five is bigger number having negative sign. Same here. Both are different signs. One is negative. One is positive. You will subtract from bigger to smaller. Subtract twenty-four from thirty. Six will come. And whose sign? Thirty sign. Thirty sign is positive. So positive six will come here. That's why. Write down the left hand side as it is. Now separate variable term on one side and constant term on other side. So I am separating variable term on this side. Minus twelve x is already on this side. Is equal to minus twenty three when shifted to LHS. Its sign will change. Minus twenty three will become plus twenty three. Minus twenty three will become Plus twenty three. Okay, sign will change. And here six is already there on RHS. Now shift seventeen to RHS. You have to transpose seventeen to RHS. So seventeen positive, it will become negative minus seventeen. Okay. Now solve it, children. When you will subtract it, why we will subtract? Because signs are different. So when you will subtract it, twenty-three minus twelve, answer will be eleven x, because twenty-three is bigger and its sign will be is positive. That's why the answer will be positive. Is equal to now subtract it, children. Answer will be minus eleven. Subtraction. Signs are different. We will subtract and sign of bigger number. Now x is equal to minus eleven by eleven. This eleven will be, this eleven will shift there. Now children, maybe you are thinking that, ma'am, you are changing, uh, you are uh, transposing eleven from LHS to RHS. Why you are not changing its sign? Because children, we are not shifting the whole term. We are not shifting eleven x to that side. If we will shift, we will transpose eleven x to other side. Then it will be minus eleven x. But you are Taking only a part of it, that is eleven. Eleven is in multiplication, so eleven will go as it is, and it will it will go for division. Answer will be one, along with minus sign. So what is the answer? My answer is eleven. X is equal to minus one. This is your answer. Okay, children. Now, children, let's see the next question. We have completed eleven and thirteenth question. Now, meanwhile, I am going to write question number fifteen on the board. Okay, see, I have written it already, and you just write down in your copy. Two by three x is equal to three by eight x plus seven by twelve. Okay, this is your question. Come on, children. write down in your copy in your notebook now how to solve such type of question let's see 3 8 and 12 these are different different denominators if you have such type of questions in linear equation where some values are also plotted on the denominator we are having three terms in this question and in these in this question we are having some denominators so children if you are having some denominator in linear equations question then what you can do you can try to remove it how how we you will eliminate it by by multiplying both side 
with their LCM by multiplying both sides with their LCM. Okay, let's see how I, I will quickly erase this. LCM of LCM of collect all the denominators. LCM of 3, 8, and the third one is 12. LCM of 3, 8, and 12 is 24. How it comes, children? I know it. Wait. Hmm? Let's see how to solve. How to find the LCM? You are having 3, 8, and 24. Okay. Now, just find out the LCM. How, children? First, see by which number we can we can simplify this with 2. Can it be simplified? No. So, it will remain 3. Can we divide it? Yes. 2 4 is 8 and 2 12 is 24. Again with 2 further we can simplify. This will not be simplified so it will copy as it is. 2 2 is 4. Okay. 2 6 is 12. Then Again by 2, 3, it will not be simplified, not, not be divided by three, uh, 2. So, 3 will come as it is. 2 ones are 2 and 2 3 is 6. Now, by which number I will simplify this? With 3. So, 3 ones are 3, 1 and 3 ones are 3. So, this is my LCM. 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 8 3 is a 24. That's why I have written LCM as 24. So, these things you have to solve in your rough work. Okay. How to solve the, how to solve children LCM of any number. Now, I have written that LCM of uh, all the denominators is 24. Now, what I am going to do? I am multiplying LHS and RHS with this LCM. Let's see. My LHS is, my LHS is 2 by 3x and my RHS is 3 by 8x plus 7 by 12. I am going to multiply my LHS with the LCM, LCM of denominators. As well as I am going to multiply this RHS with with the LCM. Okay. LCM is 24. So multiply LCM on both sides. Now open this bracket. So when you will multiply. This is in multiplication. And 24 and 3. We can simplify it. So 3 ones are 3. And, and 3 eights are 24. So, this will become 8 into 2x. This is left. Now, when you will shift to other side, I can't directly cut in this way. 8, 8, 3 is a 24. No, you can't because 12 is also there. There are two terms. Here, in this case, only one term is inside the bracket. That's why I can simplify this. Generally, the student do this mistake. What they do? They used to simplify this also. No children. When you will have a single denominator with the single term, then only you can cut this. Otherwise, first you will open the bracket. First you will open the bracket. 24 will multiply with 3 by 8x. And 24 will again multiply with the second term. That is... 7 by 12. Okay. I am multiplying 24 oh, with both the terms. 24. Now, single term. Now you can simplify. 8, 1 is 8 and 8, 3 is 24. Here, 12, 1 is 12 and 12 2 times 12 to the 24. Now children this will become 8 to the 16x is equal to 3 3 za. Children multiply the numbers which is outside and inside the bracket. 3 3 za 9x plus 7 to the 14. 
this is left after simplifying after multiplying the lcm on both side and then simplifying it one by one in this case only one term is there that's why i have simplified it directly on right hand side there are two terms so first we multiply 24 with 3 by 8x okay then again we will multiply 24 with 7 by 12 and take the sign take the sign because outside is positive so no sign will not change now for after further simplification we were having 9x plus 14 now see we have simplified but still we have to find the value of x so what we will do separate the variable term on one side and constant term on other side so 16x this 9x will be transposed to lhs so it will become minus 9x positive 9x when it will be transposed to other side it will become minus 9x is equal to 14 14 is there no need to change its place only i have changed the place of 9x 16 minus 9 what will be the answer 7x 16 minus 9 is 7x is equal to 14 7x is equal to 14 and children now i am solving here because the board will not be visible to you so 7x is equal to 14 at this place i have left there now x is equal to 14 this 7 will be shifted to that side and only one part we are shifting not the whole that's why sign will not change only 7 will go to that side with positive 7 okay so x is equal to what 7 when just 7 and 7 to ja 14 so x is equal to 2 what is your answer x is equal to 2 keep it in a bracket write down answer a n s so in this way you can simplify this type of question if you will find that in the question there are some denominators first take the lcm of all those denominator in my case it is 24 then multiply that lcm on both side on both side because it is equality sign so if you will multiply here you have to multiply to that side why we are multiplying children with with the lcm so that we can simplify we can remove this denominator okay and then solve it one by one so this is your answer so you can have a look on this question clear now our next question is question number 17 let's see it question number 17 meanwhile you just copy the question and i am also erasing my board Now, children, I hope you all have written question number seventeen in your notebook. This is question number seventeen. Okay. Two x minus three is equal to three by ten. Five x is equal to twelve. In this case, you are having only one denominator. So, no need to take the LCM. If there is only one denominator, what we will do? We will multiply both side by that denominator. Okay, let's see how. Multiplying, write down. Multiplying both side by ten. Multiplying both sides by ten. So just multiply ten to LHS as well as multiply ten. With RHS, okay. This is two x minus three. Hmm, and that one is three by ten. Five x minus twelve. This is our question. Now, if you will find that. If you will multiply ten on this side, there is no denominator, so nothing will erase. Okay, 
but on RHS easily we can cut this ten. Why children? Why directly? Because this whole is multiplying it with three by ten. Okay, so it means it is single one. You can you can cut it directly. Okay, so ten and ten will simplify here. It is in multiplication, na? It is in multiplication. That's why ten and ten can be simplified here. Then ten to the ten to the children twenty x minus y minus plus minus is minus ten three the thirty is equal to now three is remain here so three will multiply with five also three will multiply with twelve also so three five the fifteen x plus minus minus twelve three the 36 okay this is our simplification now separate variable term on one side and constant term on other side so 20x when 15x will shifted to here it will become minus 15x that is equal to minus 36 is already on that side take the sign also And uh, minus thirty six, and when minus thirty will transpose to RHS, it will become plus thirty. Minus thirty six will become minus thirty will become plus thirty. Now twenty minus fifteen, five x. Its sign will be written positive. And here thirty six minus thirty, we will subtract six will be left with. Negative sign because thirty six is bigger and its sign is negative. Now x will be what is the value of x? X will be minus six by five. Okay, so somewhere after this you will write in a box that your value of x is minus six by five. This is my answer. So in this way you can solve such type of questions. only one denominator is there so we will not take the lcm we will multiply the denominator on both side that single denominator on both side we will simplify it and then we can we can find our solution by separating the variable term on one side and constant term on other side children i have solved from question number 11 to 18 i have solved all Odd number questions, isn't it? Now, it is your turn. Just sit back for one and half hour, two hours for maths only, and try to solve all even number questions from question number eleven to eighteen. So you will solve twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and eighteen. Total four question. So this is your homework for today. In this way, you can clarify your doubts. Okay children till then take care beta